This is Senior Pastor Larry McCord, pastor of New Birth Christian Ministries Incorporated, located on Long Island, New York, reaching out to you wherever you may hear the sound of my voice, sending out the Word of God. I know many of you are troubled today, but you don't need to be afraid because you're God's property. And he said, no weapon formed against you will prosper. This is taken from Isaiah 54, verse 17. The only thing you can rely on is the word of God. Tune in and listen to New Birth Christian Ministries on YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you. Greetings in the name of Jesus. My sermon today is about angels. Angels are on the way to help with healing in their wings. Uh, the reason I chose this was I was inspired by Minister Smith's uh, sermonette last week about circle of prayer. And I remember that I was... Um, I had heard something about that a while ago and his sermonette had me thinking. It was a really good sermonette. Thank you, Minister Smith. So then I thought about angels and, and I know angels are encounter around Pastor Larry. They are watching over him. So Psalms uh, 34 7 says the angels of the Lord encamp around those who fear him and he delivers them and we also have to be we are unaware that we entertain angels God puts angels in our paths and we don't even realize it when we ask for blessing and for favor that is when he puts angels in our path. So I have a couple slides that I'm going to go through quickly. And you are going to see where angels uh, were present from the day Jesus was conceived to the day he died. So God nev never gives us more than we can handle. Never lets the pressure keep us from our, from our destiny. God lightens the load and relieves the pressure by sending his angels to hold us up, to get, to get us through our difficult times. Angels appeared many times in Jesus's ministry. The angels predicted Jesus's birth. The angel Gabriel predicted the birth of Christ to Mary. And Luke 1, 30-33, and the angel said unto her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom, they shall be no end. So that's one aspect when an angel appeared in Jesus's life, before he was even conceived. Uh, angels were present at Jesus's birth. Angels were present at the birth of Christ. Luke 2, 13, 14, and suddenly there was the angel with, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and sing, saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Then uh, angels warn Joseph. So this is how angels are, are protecting Jesus, right? Because 
Herod wanted Jesus to be killed because he was so afraid of losing the throne, but he just didn't understand the, the type of majesty that God was, that Jesus was. War angels warned Joseph, an angel warned Joseph about Herod's plot to kill Jesus. This is, you can find in Matthew 2, 19 to 20, 19 to 20. When Herod died, the angel of the Lord suddenly appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, get up, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel for those who were seeking the child's life are dead. So he, they were warning Joseph to take Jesus to a safer place. And now throughout his life, as he got older and he was coming into his gift, uh, Jesus was tempted. Even when he was tempted, angels were around to take care of him. Temptation of Christ. Angels ministered to Christ after his temptation by the devil. Luke 4, 11. Then the devil left him and behold, angels came and began to minister to him. The devil tested him. He was in the desert for 40 days no food, no water, and at his weakest point. And the devil tested him, telling him to bow down and worship him. And Jesus said no. Uh, the devil to took him up on the highest pinnacle, telling him, throw yourself down. Your angels will come and help you. And Jesus said no. And so many times he tested Jesus and Eventually, the, the devil got tired and went away. And once he once the devil left, uh, the angels came and ministered to Jesus. And then when he came out of the desert, he was stronger than when he went when he went into the desert. See, then the devils left and behold, and angels came. And began to minister to him, Matthew 4, 11. Gethsemane. When Christ was praying at the Garden of Gethsemane, an angel angels was there ministering to him. Luke 22, 43. This, when he went into the garden to pray and ask God to take away this, this task he had to do. Now we have to remember Jesus was half God, half human. So like any human being, sometimes when we have something difficult to go through or difficult to do, we always want it taken away. Nobody wants to have to face any kind of difficulty. So he, he was in the garden praying till he sweat blood. He had asked his disciples to pray with him, to stand in the gap with him. Because when we stand in the gap for others, we strengthen, we strengthen them. Because when they are at their weak moment, our prayers are helping to strengthen them and uplift them. So he had asked his disciples to pray with them. And they fell asleep. And he twice he came to them saying, what's wrong with you guys? I ask you guys to keep your eyes open and pray with me. And and I think it was Peter who said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And they fell right back off to sleep. And there again, the devil tried to tempt Jesus. But once again, the angels were there to uplift him and to strengthen him. Then an angel came from heaven, appeared to him and gave him strength. Luke twenty two forty three. Right? Ready to help at betrayal. This is a continuation. Angels were ready to help when Jesus was betrayed, when Judas betrayed him and brought uh, uh, the Philistines and, and the soldiers came to arrest Jesus just to bring him to his crucifixion, to his judgment and crucifixion. And 
this is what Jesus was praying away, but he was ready at that point because he knew he had an important task that was asked by his father for him to do. This was how we were going to get our salvation. We would be saved from our sins because of what he was going to do now. So do you think that I cannot now appeal to my father and he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels. The reason he said this was because Peter got up, took a sword from, from the sheath of a soldier and cut off the ear of one of the soldiers. And that's when Jesus said that, that all he had to do is say, Father, send legions and legions, it would be thousands of angels would appear and just blow on, on them and they would go flying. They would disappear. But no, Jesus had a, 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 a mission that he had to complete. So he had to go, it had to take this route, this path. And but then again, Jesus showed that angels will protect him. The same way angels are protecting Minister Sonia, angels are protecting. Uh, Pastor Larry, angels are protecting, uh, what's his name? I'll retell you in a second. Uh, Peter Cole and John Delaney. Angels are pr uh, protecting uh, Minister Sonia's uh, sisters. You know, we all have them as long as we are. Uh, present in the Lord and he will not allow us to, to handle more than we can because when we get to that point when we, we feel like we're giving up this is when the angels are around you this is when the angels are there to help you uh the rolled stone from the tomb an angel rolled back the stone from the tomb of Joseph of Amatheria, where J Jesus was laid because they put that big stone there. Nobody else could move it, right? It was put in place with, I guess, with horses and ropes and so forth. And to, to my thinking, but to get it removed it would have to take the same task of strapping that stone down with ropes and strapping it onto oxen or, or horses to move because a single person couldn't move that or a couple of people couldn't push that stone away. But it was the easiest thing for an angel to move, right? Another spot where angels were camped around Jesus. And suddenly there was a great earthquake for an angel of the Lord descend from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it because it was like pushing it with his little finger, Matthew 28, 2, right? And another spot where angels appear at Jesus's resurrection. An angel announced the resurrection of Christ. But the angel said to the woman, don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here for he has been raised. Just as he said, Come see the place where he was laying, Matthew 28, 5, 6. And then Jesus, his ascension, Christ ascended into heaven with angels present. While he was going and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them, Acts 1, 10. Right. So know that this is, Something that touched my heart because I ask God for strength. It breaks my heart for what Pastor Larry is going through. And the only way I can make sense of it and to strengthen me, while well, every day I pray for him, he's in my prayers every day, is that I know angels are around him. The second coming, the Bible says angels will be with Christ at his second coming. 
and he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elite from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to another, Matthew 24, 31. Executives execute Christ's, Christ's judgment. When Christ comes again, angels will execute his judgment and to give relief to you who are afflicted as well as to us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from the heaven with his mighty angels. Second Thessalonians 1, 7. Separate righteous from unrighteous. Angels will separate the righteous from the wicked. The Son of Man will send his angels and they will collect out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all evildoers. So it will be at the end of the age, the angels will come out and separate evil from the righteous. Matthew 13, 41, 40, 49. Here Christ acknowledging or denying. After the separation of the righteous from the the unrighteous from the righteous, angels will hear Christ either acknowledging or denying each person. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man, also will acknowledge before the angels of God. Luke twelve eight. And to summarize my sermonette. The ministry of angels can be found throughout the life of Christ, from his birth to his ascension into heaven. Angels play an important role in the ministry of Christ. The fact that angels had an attentive role around the ministry of Jesus is another testimony of his deity. Just as they surround the throne of God, the Father, and serve him, they also will around Jesus attending to God the Son. Just know that God will strengthen you. He sends his angels to uplift you, to empower you, to get you through whatever trial or tribulation you're going through because God never gives us more than we can handle. And when we're at that point where we just think we can't go any further that's when God pushes us through and when angels are carrying us and helping us through we will always as long as we put God first remember who he is and what his son died for we will always come through victorious in Jesus name we pray amen This is Pastor Larry McCord. Thank you for attending our services here at Newburgh. We appreciate your contribution and support. Please visit us here in person as well as on Zoom. May the blessings of the Lord go with you and go in peace.